This is flat out ridiculous. For the first time ever, a brand new car on average will cost you $45,000. This is according to a new report from Kelly Blue Book and data from True Car. Can you believe it? You're looking at a new car. Hey, $20,000, $25,000, $45,000 for a brand new car on average. Today, I've got some interesting statistics for you, uh, some numbers on some of the best cars you should buy right now and can buy right now and 10 of the worst new ones to buy right now because the prices are above MSRP. You probably know that buying a car right now as it has been for the last few months has been super difficult. Whether it's the semiconductor chip shortage, it's the pandemic, whatever it may be is a combination of a lot of things right now, but dealership lots are thin. You drive by one and it's, it's half or less than half of what it used to be. And this means that prices are going up and even used car prices are going up and dealerships are jacking up the prices on new cars above their MSRP. I saw something on a Ford Bronco recently that $5,000 was the base price over the MSRP beginning price. So they're gonna jack the price up $5,000 on a new vehicle and that was the a Ford Bronco, just one example. I'm gonna give you four of the greatest discounted cars and these are outgoing 2021 models that you can buy right now. But first, let's get to the bad news. The cars that are the worst deals right now because dealerships are really taking advantage of you. And you know, to their defense, they're struggling too. They're waiting for these computer chips, these semiconductor chips to come in and they need to make a profit. They need to keep their businesses afloat. I understand it, but it still sucks for all of us. Now, as I mentioned, $45,000, that is the average price now. And that is 7% over what it was last year. So the uh, trend is going in the wrong direction. Here they are the best deals on new cars and SUVs right now. All right, normally a 2022 Kia Telluride, which is one of my favorite SUVs, the EX all-wheel drive has an MSRP just under 40 grand. The average spent over MSRP, almost $8,000. So the average transaction, 47,000. 730 bucks. That is 20% over MSRP. How about a Hyundai Accent? Normally an economical choice for a starter car, for example, because the base MSRP range is between 15 and change and 19.5, very reasonably priced. So let's say a 2022 Hyundai Accent SE, MSRP 16,645. The average spent right now over MSRP, 3,200 bucks. That's significant considering that you should be able to get one of those for 16.6. So the average transaction price, 19,892. How about a Chevrolet Spark? This is a subcompact car that has a very low starting price. MSRP range between 13.6 and $18,000. So yeah, this is something you give to your first year college student or maybe it's your first car out of college, whatever. It's economical to get into. Well, a 2022 Spark LS CBT has an MSRP of 14.7. That's right now. The average spent over MSRP, 18% more than usual, $2,600. So the average transaction price is now $17,346. Okay, how about a subcompact SUV, the Kia Celtis? Its base MSRP range is between $22,500 and $28,000. Sounds fair, right? Well, a 2022 Kia Celtis S 2.0 all-wheel drive has an MSRP of $24,190. The average spent right now over MSRP, 4322 That is 18% over MSRP. So that transaction price is now 28512 versus the 24 and change. If you want a Hyundai Venue, it's 17% over MSRP right now. The usual base MSRP between eighteen seven dollars and $22,000. A small gap there, but it's because it's a small car. It's a subcompact. Right now, a 2022 SE IVT, 18900 That's the MSRP. Since it's 17% over MSRP, that's $3,200 extra you're having to pay over that. So the transaction price, $22,164. Can you tell that I'm fired up about this? Families who want a Kia Carnival, a midsize minivan, normally it's between 32 and 46 grand. That's the base MSRP range. Well, 17% over MSRP. That's the extra that you're having to pay. Listen to this, a 22 Kia Carnival EX normally has an MSRP of 37,600, but you have to pay now over MSRP, $6,200. 
You have to avoid these things, it's too expensive. So the average price now, $43,809 versus the 37.6. Sticking with Kia now and the Sorento, 17% over MSRP as well. Normally an LX front wheel drive is $29,500 but you have to pay $5,000 more if you want that car right now. The average transaction price, $34,500 for a midsize SUV vehicle with three rows. Here's one you won't like, a GMC Yukon. Hey, why not? A large SUV, normally between $51,000 and $71,000. It's a higher price tag, but you're having to pay 16% over that MSRP on an SLE two-wheel drive, which has an MSRP of 51 grand add $8,000 over MSRP for a price tag of just under 60 grand. Not happy about it. Two more now that you have to avoid, and they're both from Hyundai because they're 16% over MSRP as the price you have to pay today. The Elantra, normally between 19.6 and 28 grand. If you went for an SE IVT, you're having to pay an extra 3,150 bucks, so the transaction price is 23 grand. A Hyundai Tucson, very popular vehicle, very popular. In fact, they're adding another 4,200 bucks on top of its MSRP for an SE all-wheel drive. You're having to pay now 30 grand, whereas normally you'd pay about 26.5. So those were just 10 vehicles that were 16% or more over MSRP. Here are 10 more that are 15% or more. Looking at Kia K5, Nissan Kicks, the Versa, the Silverado 2500 HD, GMC Sierra 2500 HD, the Palisade from Hyundai, Sonata, Santa Cruz, which I just had recently, the Frontier and Nissan Rogue Sport, all of those are way above the normal MSRP, 15% or more. So those are the worst deals you can get on brand new cars today. Try to avoid those, weather the storm for a little bit longer. Hopefully the prices go back to normal MSRP ranges. Wait around a little while and you'll get a better deal. Here are some of the most discounted car deals. Surprisingly, these are luxury vehicles. This is a flip-flop, isn't it? Normally, you're looking at uh, these other brands, the Kias, the Hyundais, and so on, that would be economical, smart cars to get into, and now that they're more expensive, whereas these that I'm gonna talk about, these four, are luxury cars that are normally more expensive to begin with, and now they're discounted. Beginning with a BMW 7 Series. So normal MSRP range, of course, consider the audience, 86 to 157 grand. Well, right now, you can have an average savings of $10,000 if you went for a 2021 7 Series 740i X-Drive. Normally it's 90 grand, they're, they're taking off $10,000, so it's just under 80 grand. Still a lot of money, so you're probably not gonna buy it, most likely. Next up, a Cadillac XT6. So normally between 48 and 57 grand, but the average savings off MSRP, $5,500. These are smoking deals, but you, of course, you have to have a big, bigger, bigger price tag as well. Now, here's one I've, I've driven and reviewed before, not a bad vehicle, a Volkswagen Arteon. Normally between 37 and $47,000. The average savings off MSRP, 4,200 bucks, and that's on an SEL R-Line 4 motion. One more, and you don't see these very often because it's a low volume vehicle, the Alfa Romeo Giulia, between 40 and 75 grand. The average savings off MSRP, 3,600 bucks. So they wanna move them anyway, and they're actually doing a little bit more to try to get these off the lots. I'm not sure what's more crazy, the fact that people are willing to pay 15, 16, 20% over MSRP for their dream car, knowing that the depreciation is gonna accelerate worse than before because now you're paying more than normal and you're gonna lose more than normal as the natural lifespan of a car goes. But who knows how long how much longer this pandemic, this computer chip shortage will last, but dealers are doing everything they can to stay afloat, and that means passing on the expenses to us in order for them to stay afloat because the auto industry is really what one of the big things that keeps the American economy going, which I'm all for, uh, even before doing car videos, I understand and appreciate the value of the automotive industry and uh, respect what the workers do and what the company does for uh, America in general. So go America. I uh, hope this is helpful in some way on understanding which vehicles are costing more, if you can weather the storm a little bit longer, and the crazy part about the luxury vehicles are being discounted even though the price tag is a little higher. So either way, we're all getting screwed. Doing our best we can, right? Thanks for watching and uh, happy shopping. 
Uh, see you back here next time. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.